Hello everyone. Let us we move towards the next point that is the p blot element. But before starting the exact thing of a p blot element, let us we discuss something about the general introduction. So in case of general introduction of p blot element, what are the things that we have to discuss? First one, what is p blot element? Now, whenever we are using this word p block. So again, we are using this letter or a symbol that is P. What is this P stands for? P is nothing but a subshell which has a meaning principle. So P is the subshell which means a principal subshell which has three orbitals. whenever any element according to the electronic configuration shows that their valence electron or a last electron is entering into this p subshell then we can refer it as a p block element that means what is p block element whenever a valence electron these are the type of elements in which a valence electron is entering into p subshell so in which those elements which are showing the entry of a valence or a last electron into a p subshell it's called as p block element so where this p block element stands for in periodic table let us see as per the general schematic representation of a periodic table, we can say that this is nothing but a S block. This is what the D block. And this is nothing but a P block. So whenever we are separating this part, this is called as a P block elements. Now in case of P block elements, there are such six groups are there which are starting from group number 30. Now how to remember they are starting from group number 30 because in case of S block we already have discussed there are only two groups. After S block there is a middle portion between S and P that is called as D block which has 10 groups in it. So 10 groups of D block, 2 groups of S block, 10 plus 2 in totality there are 12. So obviously the P plot is starting from the group number 13 and as we have discussed that there are only 18 groups are there in periodic table and 12 are there in S and D. So obviously P block contains a group number 13, group number 14, group number 15, group number 16, group number 17 and group number 18. So these are the six groups of the periodic table are called as a p block element because the elements which are present in these groups that is from group number 13 to group number 18 they shows that the valence electron is going to enter into a p subshell that is why they are referring as a p block element now <coughs> In these cases, this p block element, just by observing the schematic representation, we can say that the p block element is at the right hand side of the periodic table. So, where it plays, what is the position of p block in periodic table? The position of p block in periodic table is nothing but at the right hand side of the periodic table. That means, out of 18 groups, 6 groups are constituting into a 
p block that is why it is called as p block is at the right hand side of the periodic table which are containing group number 13 to group number 18 in case of groups and in case of periods they are containing from group period number 1 to period number 7 in totality there are 37 elements in p block elements out of which the seven elements which are in this 18 group called as zero group elements and remaining 30 elements are placing in between 13th group to the 17th group so this periodic table also tells us some kind of the properties of many of the elements that also get revealed by the p block elements this p block elements are also called as normal elements or representative elements as p block elements all the 37 elements are there in p block but out of which as we already have said that seven elements are in zero group so remaining are 30 this 30 elements has last one shell that is the last or valence shell we can say it's incompletely filled with electrons as they are having the last shell is incompletely filled so they are called as normal element or representative elements so as we have discussed there are 37 elements so let us we see the segregation of this 37 elements of a p block element the elements which are present in 13 groups are nothing but a boron aluminium gallium indium thallium and un untrium this group that is 13th group is starting with a element boron that is why it is also called as a boron family the elements which are present in 14 group are carbon silicon germanium tin lead and un unquadium as the elements of this 14 group starting with a uh, element carbon so this is also called as carbon family let us we see the elements of 15 group nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth and un unpentium as again the elements of 15 group is starting with the element nitrogen so this is called as nitrogen family the elements of 16 group are oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium and unhedium as we are saying from the 13th group these elements are also having some another name depending upon the first element of that group that means as the 16th group is starting with the oxygen so this is also called that's oxygen family whereas in case of 17th group the elements are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine and un unseptium again the 17th group is starting with the letter f that is fluorine so this is called as fluorine family and in case of this 18th group there are seven elements which are nothing but helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and un un octium that we are knowing that the seven elements are nothing but a zero group elements that means they are inert gases which are present in a group number 18 so this is just a principle and general introduction of p block elements that we are going to see in detail in a letter part thank you